Hey guys, this is an album cover coming at you with another game. Uh, this game is going to be between Dave, the Red Terran, and Shaw, the Blue Protoss. So this game actually was emailed to me, um, and the guy that emailed it to me, um, he said it's a great game, it's epic. He actually entitled this replay, the name of it is LOL, um, and he said don't watch it before you cast it. So I have high expectations, but he was in such a rush to actually get me this replay that he uh, he didn't tell me if he was a Protoss or the Terran. So I don't know, and I'm sure that'll just be part of the excitement that will be this replay. So whether you are Dave or Shaw, if this replay is not good, I am holding you personally accountable. But then again, I don't know who you are, so you know it'll be probably pretty easy to get off the hook. But um, before this game really kind of gets underway. Uh, I would like to go ahead and say sorry guys for not putting up a game in like a week and a half or like, I don't know, it might have been longer than that. Um, I have been super busy. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a student uh, as well and right about now it's exam time. Um, we've got Thanksgiving break of course for this week but um, next week we do exam start so that's gonna take up a lot of my time so I do apologize um, for not being able to get out a whole lot of videos but I've had exams in school and then also I have had um, been doing running a tournament with some friends and that has just been um, very busy so <laughs> Um, hard time getting in contact with several people but regardless I do hope that um, I can and I know I will be able to um, in about a two weeks I won't have anything to do so I'm very excited about that and uh, already we can see Dave uh, getting both refineries so uh, it could be some sort of banshee play I'm not sure I, I also I didn't think to look up the players before I uh, before I watch this replay, I don't know anything about either one, don't know anything about the replay. I have just sat down to watch it. So it looks like Shaw is going to go ahead and skip that first Zealot to get his Cybernetic score and get down his second gas. So both players look like they are going to be tacking up here rather quickly. Income, um, both players are fairly similar and we, go, we are going to go ahead and see a factory. So um, everything does point towards some sort of uh, quick Banshees here at this point from Dave. And this probe will be taken out, uh, needs to be taken out before any other tech goes down. Um, while we do have, okay, looks like Shaw is going to go for that first zealot, but uh, actually it's a delayed first zealot. So we go straight for uh, the Cybernetics Core and Warp Gate. Uh, probably going to see him throwing down another gateway here just momentarily. So Marine down here on guard duty, going to be able to keep these scouts out. Uh, and really, okay, we've got another barracks going down. So not exactly sure. Um, what this is, uh, as far as build-wise, a lot of Terran players, gosh, ever since G GSL 2, um, when they saw Foxer, Optimus Prime, whatever you want to call him, um, do a lot of two-gate pressure, just like, it doesn't matter the, the matchup, a lot of it is um, TVZ, but really, you will just see so much like two barracks pressure it's it's a little bit ridiculous but uh, we are gonna see this star part going down now for our Terran player as my computer is just struggling to keep up um, hold on just a second and we're back I'm hoping I changed something that will help the frame rate a little bit because that was just painful to watch um, but we do we are gonna see the second gateway for Shaw going down looks like he I thought he was gonna go and expand right now but neither player uh, excuse me neither player is really looking to expand both playing off one base um, a barracks with a reactor and a tech lab um, so looks like this tech lab is gonna be used for the stem pack so maybe we won't see um, some sort of banshee. No, nope, just medevac. So I completely guessed that wrong. Um, you'll have to forgive me for that. But and a robotics facility. So uh, if it had been banshees, looks like the um, observer would have been out 
and time, uh, the old two gate robo build uh, from Protoss. So not anything just crazy. Needs to, to actually um, go ahead and get this warp gate and this one as well with that sentry just popping out. But this is some pretty interesting building placement. Obviously it's not a wall in uh, because it's not built right here, but it uh, it is going to provide some sort of defensive bonus um, if of course the Terran is attacked. Um, and really here lately I've been playing um, of course Protoss and I don't like to wall in as Protoss against Terran because a lot of times of course you can you know, the, Proto the Terran army can just sit down here do a scan up here and just like take out some of your buildings and you can't really move around because you're constricted because your own buildings and just something that I am not liking here recently so if you agree if you disagree let me know because, um, like I've heard, I've heard people say both ways. Um, and actually getting with these supply depots, I mean, you gotta give it to Dave. Uh, that's pretty thoughtful, um, pretty good defensive uh, building placement. So every little thing counts. I can't help but think that this attack by the Protoss, um, actually I thought it was gonna be repelled, and it looks like it might be. These medevacs are trying to keep these alive just as long as possible um, but uh, yep it is actually going to be repelled just barely um, another marine and marauder are going to come in here and even a couple of SCVs just chilling there so looks like though that Terran really did come out on top um, definitely there with losing um, almost 400 minerals uh, less than the than the uh, Protoss. So, just gonna go ahead and get some Immortals, some more Stalkers, and actually gonna keep re uh, retreating the entire way. Uh, I'm not really sure why this Observer is coming back to the base. Uh, it'd be nice just to to, pl to plant that right here uh, around the outskirts, or you know, be able to plant it over here and see when he expands. Or you know, probably here would be the best place because you could almost see both places the ramp when he goes out to attack and not. So, um, looks like we're gonna see Shaw just go ahead and go for the expansion. Uh, which is, is a pretty good call here, and uh, it'd be really, really nice if we could see Dave go for an expansion as well. But uh, even actually, it looks like he pulled off a couple of guys from gas. Uh, yeah, he is. A, he looks like he only has one guy in each gas, so um, he does have a little bit too much gas at this point. And going, it looks like he is going for a drop. Um, I don't know how effective this drop is going to be. If he drops over here at the natural, um, then of course he is going to be able to do some damage. But um, you know, and he, he drops towards the back. I, I, I would think, I would hope that Shaw uh, will be able to spot this. Usually drops are a whole lot more effective when of course there is more than one base. And with the, the natural just go ahead and going ahead and being set up, this uh, may actually do some damage if Shaw is not paying attention. So when this observer gets over here, which the observer is not going to get there in time, this observer is going to see uh, a crap. Where where are all these units? And then it'll know something's up, but by that time, these units can already go ahead and will be landing here. And these units will get here just in time for this to finish. So that is not, not good for Shaw. All these probes being transferred down here. This could actually be horrible uh, if Dave goes ahead and drops right in the supply line. And he, he could. He, he's not going to at all. Now he sees. Um, and of course, uh, now of Shaw sees as well. And uh, this drop is going to be, looks like, contained uh, pretty easily. These probes need to actually be moved. He's losing all these probes. He can easily um, kill these, the rest of his army, but he lost so incredibly many probes. Um, really, Dave needed to just go ahead and retreat and pull out.